Hello, everyone. I'm Li Jiaxi from China. I'm 13. And my topic is the more you explore, the more wonderful our life will be. I'm very lucky to have a university teacher mom who gave me ample room to explore, to fail, and to struggle up again. One cold winter night, when I was six years old, I followed my mom on the way home. Ignoring her repeated reminder to be attentive, I was playing my flying saucer while walking, while I tripped and fell. The flying saucer in my hands rolled into the pond, drifting farther and farther. My mother, who had been bustling all day, was hurrying home and with lots of chores still expecting her was angry and helpless. I looked around and couldn't find a helper or a long stick. Then I saw my mom go back and turn out, uh, take out a broom, saying nothing, and ran to fetch a long-handled duster. But no matter how hard we tried, it didn't work. The flying saucer was like an offshore sailing boat, drifting much farther. My mother asked, we we'll just give it up, okay? I was silent and didn't respond. The flying saucer was my favorite. After thinking hard, mother, um, I grabbed the broom in my mother's hands and inserted it into the clip on the handle of the dustbin. Along the clip, I pulled the broom and the dustbin to the longest possible length. When it was put into the river again, it was very close to the target, but still out of reach. Then I slowly rolled and the water began to move. Harnessing the direction of water flow, I managed to let the flying saucer drift towards me. When it finally came into my reach, I jumped up excitedly. My mom, who had been standing there and watching all the process silently, turned happy and exclaimed, how smart you are. When I was eight years old, I was crazy about game cards with different power. One day after school, when you my mom washed my cars carrying pants, I burst into tears. Although she bought new ones for me later, their power still meant nothing compared with my previous one. Then I started to cut paper cards and draw the patterns, trying to be the same as the wash ones. When my, uh, Although my mom thought my work would be in vain, I put the one I had uh, I had fabricated first into the machine, and the machine responded. It worked. I made it. I shouted happily, driving my cooking mom out of the kitchen. She just stood there and thumbs up. When I was 10 years old, we rented a farm. As time went on, a problem arose. The full bucket of water we carried was not enough to wet a tiny field. Suddenly, I was struck with an inspiration. The river nearby and the small pump in the fire extinguisher I had made induced me to invent something. After searching on the internet, I bought a hose, a pump, and fixed them with a storage battery in my dad's electric scooter. And the experiment at home was very successful. And the same in the fields. Laughing and shouting, I was thrilled to tears when I first saw water flush out of a hose. 
one night when I was 12 years old, an idea suddenly struck me while I was doing my homework. I want privacy, so I wanted the door of my room open and closed, totally under my control. Then I began to connect several lines together and zigzag their way from my seats to the handle of the door. And, and it succeeded, leaving my parents shocked and puzzled, wondering how on earth I did it. One night last year, a car downstairs kept honking. At first, we paid no attention to it, since we thought it was from other people's car. After the honk lasted for about 10 minutes, we couldn't help looking out of the window. It was from our car, and the light was flickering. It turns out that rain leaked into the water, leading to the malfunction of the electric circuit. Days later, a person asked in the neighborhood which I grew up, whose car is it? It has kept honking for about 10 minutes. And I learned from these two experiences that the problem is very common. So I decided to invent something to inform car owners if there's something abnormal happens during their absence. After previous tries and improvements on each item, I integrated the sound sensor, an antenna, an Arduino chip, a telephone card, a, US, a, a building recharge mode with a USB slot, and a 3D printed out covering. The problems keep arising. The more I explore, the more surprising I am to find that the nuts, which seemed hard to crack yesterday, became much easier today. We're living on the same planet, facing the same problem of environment, education, gender inequality, poverty and liberation, etc. And I strongly believe the more we explore, the more creative we will be, and the more wonderful our life will become. Let's work together to make our world a better place. Thank you for your attention. That was very good, very interesting. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent job. I, I have a question, Jake. Do you mind if I ask? Oh, no, of course. That's what you're hearing. Fabulous. <laughs> hi. Hi. I'm, I'm a professor in the United States, and my research is on uh, innovation, which is what you were doing, and uh, entrepreneurship. So how you take your ideas and can move them forward to make uh, money or to be sustainable. So the first thing I wanted to comment on is, um, do you think your experiences over time should be something that you do in your normal school day? Because it sounds like you have a lot of experience because of your mother and giving you opportunities. Do you think other kids in China should be able to do these type of projects in school during the day. King, if you think he needs help in translating, please do that. Yeah, that is why I'm here. I know. <laughs> so please so, say I can't understand. Um, uh, I think the students in, in China, uh, when, uh, when they are studying in school, I think they also have a chance to do uh, things just like, a, like my experience. Uh, just they, they can find their own 
opportunity and chance. Maybe not a chance or opportunity, just like me, but there are still many different opportunities they can find in their school lives. And also, such as in my school, uh, there's some lessons just uh, teaches the students about robots and inventions. Mm -hmm. And we can learn about these things in these lessons. Thank you. You're welcome. One of the things I like about Zoom is I can see where people are living and I learn more about them. Behind you, what is that going on behind you? Um, actually, uh, it's about some machines or robots um, I had made both uh, by myself and my, also th with the help of my teachers. Can you show us any of those things? I'm fascinated by them. <laughs> like this, uh, this is what I've done in the last year um, at IFI State. Um, the inventor, uh, what is called? Jiaqi. Jiaqi is a winner of Invent Future Invention Convention event. Yeah. And this one uh, is a watch I used to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think while I was in primary school, of course, with my uh, teacher's help. Um, oh, yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> it's a it's a Hold it up. Arm. Oh, okay. Arm. And there's a line uh, when I can use my computer to control this arm and also I can use if there's electricity I can use these uh, these to Button. control it too yeah and there's also others uh, like bionic robots and mp3 and also a, a fighter machine I used to make to in, in a competition. Excellent. Do you, Lee, am I saying it right, Lee? Li Jia Qi. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, I have a lot of students from China that I work with. They're getting their doctor to be a doctor. Um, and are you, uh, you're 13, correct? Okay. Well, you're doing work that we do when you come to college. <laughs> so I, I just want to keep in, keep keep you motivated so as you go to high school you keep looking around for opportunities of things to explore because you're going to be really ready uh for college and wherever you go and whatever you do so it's really exciting uh to see someone your age that's going to be able to help solve some of our big problems we have in the world and so I'm going to keep my 
keep my uh, eye on you to see your name because I'm sure you're going to be in a lot of the invention conventions moving forward. So congratulations. Thank you for encouraging me. <laughs> you inspire me with these stories. I am very excited. So you might want to send him a brochure and let him apply to your school. Oh, <laughs> we, uh, we have a program when you're in high school, you could earn college credit from uh, the United States uh, for your inventions. You turn, turn them in and do a talk just like you did. Um, and that's the way we certify you, yes. And you can do it when you're in high school. I'm not sure what you call high school in Chinese or in China, but. We also call it high school. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're an inventor, uh, we do that. And it's through our College of Engineering and Business. And then the college credit goes to any university in the United States. So if you ever are thinking you would want to get certified or have that uh, just reach out to me and I'll give you information on it. And it's uh, inexpensive as far as the United States goes to do. It's $150 US to get three credits for college. So that's kind of fun. Uh, but then you have to do the work also. Well, yes, but he's <laughs> done a lot of work. Yes, yes. But I bet it's the same kind of thing. The work is how does an engineer solve a problem? Um, how does someone that wants to be an entrepreneur solve a problem? And so you just put all that in there. Yeah, absolutely. But what I've seen so far is very exciting. And my research studies how you go change over time on your creativity. And you explained it perfectly. I should interview you for my research. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.